Are you going to have a dry January? Have you been trying to have a dry January? Uh, no. I, 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 I dry, uh, not dry from alcohol, probably dry from other things that mm-hmm. people refer to as a dry streak or a dry spell, um, like, uh, you know, feeling the embrace of another human being. But, okay, well, this got sad fast. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like, I'll be drinking plenty, but as for everything else, no. A uh, human won't be keeping me warm. It's the warmth of bourbon. That's right. I'm, how did you know bourbon? I mean, I just took a guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I feel like you, you look like a guy who could, like... You get a little bourbon glass, Mm -hmm. and you put one of those big ice cubes in it, but it's a big fancy ice cube. You know, it's Mm kind of shiny, very clear, and then you put a little bourbon in it, you sip it by the fireplace. Yeah, you are basically, uh, it's a big glass with a small ice cube and a lot of bourbon. Okay. But you are correct. I do have a little fire pit on my back porch at my house. This is basically the screensaver I envisioned for you. I sit back there, and I smoke a cigar, and I drink bourbon, and I listen to Johnny Cash because I'm a 65-year-old plumber. (laughs) Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so descriptive. Yeah, it's amazing. A survey found out that 86% of drinkers are more likely to participate in dry January if the focus is about drinking in a moderation as opposed to not drinking at all. Well, I'm not a quitter, so I, why would I stop? Why quit you know? now? 